You know, my mama used to say, don't spend too much time talking about nothing because you become what you spend most of your time talking about. And you know what, mama? I spent a lot of time talking about money and I ain't rich yet. So I don't know if that's totally true. Yet. Yeah. Hmm. Lessons from the screen. So today we're getting back to the Lift Every Voice plan from Joe Biden. With the final two points on education and the crosshairs today, let's go ahead and get into it. The sections we're gonna to cover today are the sections entitled Creating a Title I for Post-Secondary Education to help students at under-resourced four-year schools complete their degrees. And then we're gonna cover the point on making a $50 billion investment in workforce training, including community college business partnerships and apprenticeships welcome to lessons from the screen the show where we give you a review of whether or not any information that you get from any particular screen of any particular kind is worth your time we waste our time our energy and our brain power so that you don't have to and you are always very much welcome lessons from the screen is sponsored by pax inc a black activist advocacy and think tank organization with the purpose of increasing the quality of life for black people in america through a focus on education, a culture shift in economics. You can check them out as always at www.pactsinc.org. That is paxinc.org. Make sure that you leave a review, leave a comment, tell a friend, tell a friend, check out the Learning Center. And when you're doing your shopping with Amazon Smile, make sure that you select Pax Inc. as your nonprofit of choice to receive your donations. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it, people. Let's get into it let's get it started so so we're going to kick this thing off right and we're going to talk about creating a title one for post-secondary education to help students at under-resourced four-year schools complete their degrees now this section starts out with a report from the american federation of teachers which is the teachers union and the report offers recommendations for the higher education act reauthorization and was released in 2019 now the report is basically a recommendation for the passage of a reauthorization of higher education act and it is a strong punch to the gut to the trump administration that was in power when the report was generated again back in 2019 so as we know trump was very much against the federal government getting involved in the predatory practice of for-profit institutions he himself having started one of said institutions and we talked about the higher education act of 1965 already in this series so we ain't gonna be getting back into that you feel me but uh moving forward what we will get into billy bob joe thornton is that this report in particular goes on to say that the Biden administration will establish a new, say it with me, new grant program to support under-resourced four-year schools that serve large numbers of Pell eligible students. And we talked about the Pell Grant program as well. For those of you that are not familiar with it, for those of you that are not familiar with it. The funds are to be used for collaborative programs involving the schools and community-based organizations to offer full service solutions to many of the problems that keep people from remaining enrolled. The services mentioned are mental health, mentoring, tutoring, support groups, childcare, transportation, and book cost. Boop, 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 boop. The thing to mention here is that We've seen this song and dance before. The Higher Education Act of 1965 was supposed to end education inequity. And so was the No Child Left Behind Act when Bush was president. This was uh, baby Bush, not daddy Bush. And there were a number of regulations written during the Obama administration to rein in out of control for-profit schools and the ballooning college debt. Now, 10 years after people have started clamoring for something to be done and more than six years after things were actually done here we are nothing's really changed so yeah at least not for the better so college debt is up 50 percent 50 percent from the historic levels it was at in 2010 one trillion dollars then 1.5 trillion dollars now 
And that's the very report that they mentioned earlier in the document and the approaches taken, at least those outlined so far in this entire section on education, do more for non-black people than they do for black people, which as I mentioned last show, grows the gaps and feeds the problems. Unless a program is created specifically, anybody else getting tired of me saying this? Cause I'm getting tired of saying it, but say it nonetheless, I will. Unless a program is created specifically for black people, it's not going to address the issues of the black community. The rising tide approach doesn't work. One size fits all solutions work for the general population, but for the specific groups within that population, they don't work. And as I have and will continue to say every show, this is a plan for black America, not minority America, not poor America. We're talking about black Americans. You guessed it, look at you, gold stars all the way around. So all in all, I give this point a D. Yes, I said it, a D. And because it, it, there's not enough information here, we, we just don't know what's, what's going on with what. Um, and, and, and based off what we do know, it's not gonna work. There's nothing outlined as there isn't anything outlined in much of these plans but it's not gonna work if it's anything like what it has been in the past it's it's not gonna work so moving forward we have he's gonna make a 50 billion dollar investment in workforce training including community college business partners and apprenticeships now this is the last point we're going to talk about today and this section says he will create and support partnerships between community colleges businesses unions state local and tribal governments universities and high schools to identify knowledge and skills needed in the community and to develop or modernize the programs created to facilitate that training now, the end goal of these programs is to lead to high demand industry recognized credentials. Then he asked people to go look at his education plan. Yep, he did that. There are no links or citations in this section. And basically, this means a whole lot of nothing. Yep like a lot of these things although some of them have some meat but this one in particular means a whole lot of nothing it conveys nothing it's just another bullet point for the sake of making this document seem longer and more substantive than it actually is we learn nothing new from reading this point about how money the, the money that he's proposing will help anything we haven't learned anything new and to be clear, I agree with the thought that universities, businesses, and community organizations should be working together hand in hand in hand to make sure that the needs of the community are being met ahead of the curve. That is absolutely true. The problem is there's nothing here that's saying how this money will help facilitate that cooperation. And honestly, that cooperation shouldn't need to be incentivized by the federal government. But that is a conversation for another day. That is a conversation that we probably need to have when we have the HBCU conversation that I talked about last show or it was a few shows ago. Anyways, that rounds up this Joe Biden plan on education. And in general, this seems like more of the same, a whole lot of fluff and not a lot of stuff is going to change for black folk. Uh, when you boil it all down, a lot of these points are minority points. They are not black specific points. And a lot of these points benefit white people more than they benefit black people. With that being said, if he actually does implement these points, things are going to get worse for black people. The disparities are gonna grow. Yes, all of America will be doing better, but segments of America will be doing a lot better than other segments of America. And that is essentially the problem we have now. It's not that America as a whole is not progressing, it's that certain communities, economically speaking, resource speaking, socially speaking, are advancing at a faster rate than other communities. That is the problem and that is the inequity that people are saying needs to be solved. The federal government has a role in doing that, but this plan doesn't really outline anything that 
in, at least to my estimation, we should be excited about in terms of it being a plan for black America. If it was a plan for minority groups, then there's a lot of things here to be excited about. But this is a Joe biden.com backslash black america that's what this is literally that's the link literally that's what this is so with that being said there's just nothing in this uh, education section in general that i feel like black people should be overly excited for there are some things to be excited about in theory but we've also seen how theories actually work out when it comes to that practical application and that's what we're looking at here with this particular situation. Yeah, that's the word we're going to use, situation. But hey, what do I know? I could be wrong. I could be right. I think I'm right. I'm usually right, but I have been wrong before. Uh, once every 43 solstices, I'm wrong. Once every 43 solstices. Or maybe I'm wrong 43 times every solstice. I don't know. But that's it for this show. I told you it'd be a short one. We only had those two points to go off of and thank Joe Biden and his staff who wrote this thing for not putting any meat in these points. So there's literally nothing to chew on. But I'll see you the next time we talk about this particular plan. We're going to be getting into his sections on ending the healthcare disparities by race. So with COVID, what's coming out of COVID and the impact that it had on the black community, that should be fun. But in addition to that, tell me what you think. Tell me, do you agree with my general thoughts on this, the education portion of this plan? Tell me what you think of these two points in particular. Let me know what you think of the show. And I will see you next time on the next episode of Lessons from the Screen. Lessons from the Screen. screen.